What can you do on a social network? You can connect with people. Hello. Hi. A lot of people. Share your photos. Tell jokes. Post your thoughts on, well, just about anything. And see what all your friends are up to. It's pretty easy. And that's the problem. Sometimes it's a little too easy. You see, a social network may look harmless, but once you log in, watch out. It could be a dangerous place. So if your parents allow you to have an account, you have to be smart. Social network smart. Follow the front page rule. Don't post anything that you wouldn't want to see on the TV news or the front page of the newspaper. And that includes personal information, like your phone number, where you live, and where you go to school. Never tell people when you're not home or when you're going on vacation. It may seem harmless, but that's exactly the kind of information thieves can use to break into your house or even steal your identity. Now, let's look at your reputation. Your photos and comments say a lot about you. So, if you've made a fool of yourself, ask, is this how I really want people to view me? Not just now, but in the future, like at a job interview. Uh -oh. At Proverbs 22.1, the Bible says, a good reputation is worth more than silver and gold. Don't let that delete key fool you. Posting something on any social network is kind of like writing in permanent ink. Okay, so you're careful about what you share. Now think about who you're sharing it with. Who are your friends? Some people have hundreds of online friends. Some have thousands. So you may think the more friends the better, right? Actually, no. <gasps> That kind of thinking can blow up in your face. You see, when you connect with online friends, you're also indirectly connecting with their friends and their friends' friends. That means you may find yourself seeing posts from people you don't even know. People whose morals and beliefs may be different from yours. They may use bad language or post about things you know are wrong. Those just aren't the kind of friends you want to hang around with. Not even online. And there's another danger. At Psalm 26.4, the Bible warns about people who hide what they are. They pretend to be someone they're not and may seem super friendly. But they could be dangerous. So when it comes to friends, you need to be picky. The safest friends online are ones you already know offline. There's one more thing to think about. It has to do with your time. Checking out the latest posts can be addictive. So let's set some limits. And don't let your online life get in the way of your real life. You know, connecting with others online can be fun and safe. As long as you look out for all the dangers. So the next time you log in, be smart. Social network smart.